So my parents live on this side of the lake and truth be told, I have not seen them since the COVID-19 lockdown. So it's been since March that I've seen my own parents. Crazy stuff. So we're going there first. We're gonna have a hamburger, say hello, and then I'll go do that proposal. <laughs> Long time to see. Look who it is. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> Social distancing stinks. <laughs> Always lovely to see you. This stinks. Well, we had this hamburger from Roadhouse, Texas Roadhouse, and it was absolutely delicious. But now I need to get to my proposal, and we're about 25, 28 minutes away from him dropping down on his knee. You know, as I'm driving down here, I gotta be honest. The butterflies in my stomach are rolling. It doesn't matter how long I've been doing this job. It doesn't matter what size the job half is. Half a mile. The destination is on your left. All right, half a mile. I still get nervous. You know, it's an excited nervous, but being a pro photographer means you, you are paid to not screw up, basically. So let's not do that today. <laughs> right? Okay, so they're his friends, his name is Michael by the way, I don't know his soon to be fiance's name, but Michael's friends are here already and they got this couch out in the field. And he sent me that picture on the text and I'm like, smooth move. That'll be obvious where you are. So let's go, uh, let's go see how all of this is gonna go down. So here's the goal. I'm gonna hide behind this tree because they're walking from that way on the path. So I'm gonna hide behind here, let them pass me up, and then I am gonna run between here and there. She's gonna be kneeling facing this way, but them both, he's that way, she is this way, the sun's across both of them, so that'd be great. And um, this is my scene, which I can crop later. Um, but I'm really liking this view. I'm digging this view. All right, it's go time. I was just taking pictures of a kid over there and and you come by and I'm like he looks he looks like he's got something important to do <laughs> yep they're hitched <laughs> Go home. Too many days in the darkness without a glimpse of the light. Run 
running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender but Darling, you were meant to survive With every start We are born again Open your heart Spend less time in your head this ending of my vlog for a second because yesterday while I was across the lake getting that awesome proposal we had a surprise birthday party for my oldest Julia she turned 18 and because of the uh, COVID-19 uh, lockdown and the bad experience she's had with the end of her senior year she's just not in the mood to really do much she just wants to go to college and Elizabeth and I are sitting in the backyard and we're like what do you do? Like, how do you how do you throw a party for somebody who doesn't want a party? She's 18 for God's sakes. And it was Elizabeth's idea to call the company that Julia works for. She works for Pixie Dust, which is a local company that provides princesses um, of different characters to go surprise kids and have little parties, and it's really sweet. So we kind of lied and told Julia she had a job. <laughs> And when she went to her job, she then realized the girl that she was surprising was our neighbor across the street, Little Miss Addie. And she's adorable as can be, so Julia wasn't thinking twice about it. So we got some of her friends over the house. Julia basically came <laughs> to her own party in full costume because she thought she was working a job. And this, this is what Too happened. many days in the darkness. Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender but Darling, you were meant to survive Yeah.